Ryan Ballas says he can rest easy since this traffic light was installed outside of his apartment building on the corner of 51st Street and Skillman Avenue. We would constantly hear honking and screeching of tires and the occasional car accident. And now it just seems so peaceful. I mean, it's really nice. The new light and pedestrian signals are a big victory for a grassroots movement to have the safety measures installed. Arthur Ferguson has lived in Sunnyside for decades. He started the petition to bring the stoplight to the busy intersection after a pedestrian was hit crossing the street. It slows people down. We have, we have a lot of pedestrians here you know, baby carriages, elderly people. Council member Jimmy Van Bremer works with the residents and the city's Department of Transportation to expedite the installation of the traffic light. Nothing is more important than keeping our community safe, and every single child needs to be safe crossing this street. Every single senior citizen needs to be safe crossing the street. In addition to the new traffic light, construction began on the neighborhood's third slow zone. Here, the speed limit is dropping to 20 miles per hour. The Sunnyside Gardens Woodside Slow Zone encompasses the area between 43rd and 58th Street, south of Barnett Avenue and north of Queens Boulevard. DOT officials say the agency works with residents and elected officials to designate the areas where a slow zone is needed. It includes gateway signs, markings, which you see, speed bumps, um, and we're just really excited that uh, we're able to add this signal uh, to the slow zone area and make it a safer place. Construction on the slow zone is expected to be complete by the summer. In Sunnyside, Clota McGowan, New York One.